be calculating in 200 feet. Make a right. An invariable rule of humanity is that man is his own worst enemy. Under me, this rule will change. For I will restrain man. To help carry on our important work, I want you to join the secret squadron. To join the secret squadron. To join the secret squadron. I don't know what day is it. Hum day. <laughs> yes, indeed, it's hum day. It's also hot and spicy food day. And National Soft Serve Ice Cream Day. which is gonna go good with the birthdays of the following. You know, the segment that I call Leo's I Knows. Yes, indeed. So here are two Leos that I happen to know. One of them is my brother. Happy birthday, Beans. <clears throat> so it's my brother's birthday and it is Boom Boom Brown. Remember that, Vanessa? Remember I used to call you Boom Boom Brown? Vanessa Boom Boom Brown's birthday. So as always, here's the gift for you. I wanna wanna wish you a happy birthday. I wanna wanna help you celebrate. I wanna wanna wish you lots of Speaking of boom, boom, you know what time it is. What up, what up, this Inky man, and I'm just gonna show you how to get down with the Inky Addicts community. So here I am at my wall, and we're about to go to go on over to Facebook.com, Ink Chronicles, I N Q R O N I C L E S. And you get over there to this page, you see right here is a tab that says lead pages. Click on lead pages. And then when this comes up, click OK, sign me up, and do the rest. Fill in your name, fill in your email. It's just that simple. Join the Inky Addicts community. Thank you. Oh, not to leave anybody out as far as birthdays are, are concerned, but they're not Leo's that I knows. It's also Fat Joe's birthday, Little Romeo's birthday, and rest in peace, Nate Dog. Nate Dog's birthday. Wow. You know, one thing about hip hop, if you're a person that's all down with hip hop, you know, as far as you ever MC, DJ, B Boy, Dig Graph, any of that stuff, man, it never leaves you. And I was talking to my man yesterday, who was a prominent professor in the, uh, in the scholarly community. And the thing that blew my mind was the man still makes beats. <laughs> Here's somebody who wrote two books, teaches at a prominent university, uh, 
and he's still DJing, scratching, and making beats on the side, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to, I just wanted to bring that up, man, because me, I'm a hip hop head, pure hip hop head, raised on hip hop. Not to say my parents were banging hip hop music. I'm just saying that when it came down to me being me and me creating me and me manifesting who I was, hip hop was at the foundation. And when I say hip hop, I'm talking about the culture of four elements, not hip hop as in rap music. Okay, that's just a part of the game. But it just blew my mind that, that here is somebody who is being looked at on all social commentary, anything that's to do with race, this man is being looked at. They, they ask him for, for his views on things. They invite him down to speak on his views on things. And on the side, my man make beats and still DJs. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm not going to say his name, but you better be watching. That's number one. Number two, some of the beats that will be rocking on today's show will be coming from his arsenal of beats, not the Inky Man Band. So anything that you hear that you haven't heard before, more than likely is my man's beats. That's it. Excuse me, sir. Is there a reason why you're just laying here? I was tired. I got a guy in four, a line. Who can say where the world?